Good morning. Welcome back to Sheffy Chase Farm. Another rainy, gloomy, wet December day. A little bit chilly. Good opportunity though to get here in the barn and clean out some of this uh, junk that is taking up too much space as we expand the brooder inside. Give me a little more room to operate. With it out, you are able to see the brooder a little bit better. Uh, when you look at it from this position, it is rather large. Again, it's at the four doors. Looking forward to filling it up with baby chicks. Right here is kind of where I'm working on. This is the uh, upper side of the barn. As I said, it's kind of infrastructure and farm improvements and cleanup. This is actually a job I've not wanted to do. Well, got that chore down. Pretty happy to be done with that. Sure, I wasn't looking forward to it. Got almost everything out of here. I found underneath everything about 20 or so, 10, um, just 10 sheets. I, I think I mentioned I'm going to do turkeys on pasture this year. They will need a portable roost, so I'm going to use those for that. Everything here, I've got a few more items. I need some help with the old refrigerator. It's going to be recycled. I need some help with that to the dump. There's some old shingles back here, and I need to talk to the recycling place if they'll take that old barbed wire. Here's what I found at the bottom of the pile of all the junk in the barn. Two stone bald eagles. That one's in great shape. This one right here, uh, he's got a little problem. Lost his beak. In with the sheep, I had a few goats watching how they eat different than the sheep. Try to learn a little bit about them. Probably going to buy quite a few more next year to help with some of my brush removal. But it is right before Christmas, one of the last sales, and I'm going to go ahead and move these goats back to the sale barn and sell them here before winter really begins. I've been watching the market prices, and at least the last sale a couple weeks ago, they were a lot higher than what I had originally paid for them. They probably put on a little weight, but all in all, it's a bit of a learning experience as well as going to use them for brush control. I got them up here in the pen. We're going to load them out of my little makeshift sheep corral. There is a video. You can see it up here of when I put that together. the four goats loaded up sometimes it's better to be lucky than good those goats just happened to be standing right where I needed them to be made it pretty simple now I'm gonna move the rest of the sheep here back down to the front field where I had them in the last video Or back where they're supposed to be. As a connoisseur of gas station food, I'm a big fan of the big chick. It ain't no Cubby Chase Farm chicken, but it's pretty good. Here at Bluegrass Sight Yards in Richmond, got the goats unloaded. They stick around a little bit to see how the sale goes. Goats are sold. I'm back here in the back of the farm, trying to get some chores done. Uh, still trying to get this 
lane made here to put the high tensile wire in. Right here where my finger is, that's where the high tensile comes in at the middle part of the farm. I'm trying to get it here through the back part. This is where I'm gonna run it through. You can see, you can see here, I've already cleaned out some of the spot, but now I'm up to this point. And I need to clean right through here. I've got a lot of this sawed down. I'm gonna use a front end loader and see if I can't get this stacked up to give me um, to give me a path to run that wire about right through here and then up over the top of that hill. got it cleared out now here was that area we had just looked at that was grown up and here it is going up the hill so I think we're about ready to start putting in some high tensile wire here or at least a post for the post I plan on taking some of this these brush I've cut especially the locust and take out some seven foot or so logs from it and make posts out of those i appreciate you following along this week again make sure you subscribe to the channel you can also find out more about the farm from www.tubbychasefarm.com everyone have a great week